told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away So descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas Think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness A reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time You're delirious, mysterious Because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last Yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help, I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'm being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're What's going on everybody? Not too sure what day I'm popping this out Either Monday or Tuesday Went to Louisville Sports Card Show this morning Only spent about an hour and ten minutes there Due to the fact I had to get to the post office Get stuff shipped 
And then uh, Staples had buy two, get one free bubble wrap. Have to, always got to get that bubble wrap, man. Always got to get the bubble wrap. But uh, got help and started working on this video. You guys got to see a little bit of the show. Uh, I know a lot of people said they like the way the chess camera piece works that way. And I got to remember when I'm looking at cars to try to make sure they're in better view of the camera. But pretty good overall. Like I said, I was in and out very, very quickly. Hit Bought from only two dealers in there today. The idea was I had X amount of money and I said, you know, I really don't want to spend it all. But if I find it, I'll buy it, which I didn't. And I wanted to pick a few pieces up, which I'll talk about the one at the end here. But overall, not bad show. I'm hopefully all the dealers out there did well. It, it seemed like people were really wanting to buy out there today. Uh, you guys might see a couple people that are overpriced on stuff. You're going to have that across the board. And we'll talk about... um. Uh, the like I said, the last card in there, how I made it make sense for me. All right, sorry guys, had to drink something. My throat's been dry today. All right, so first dealer, I picked this up in a bulk deal. The original stickers on these were off, and what I like is he likes me to be able to look it up and give a price on the cards, and then he cuts me my deal afterwards, or I well, I shouldn't say cut me a deal. He gives me a fair offer afterwards, or so up first, Obsidian Mika Fitzpatrick. Steeler Uni, numbered out of 100. Steeler stuff just does well with me, so I figured I'd pick this up. This last sold that I found on there, like $18 some cents, I just called it 20 because I knew he was going to, you know, give it to me for a couple dollars under anyhow. But pretty cool, pick a Steeler's piece up. Alright guys, pick your bowl bowls up. Bowl ball! He's just going way up! Okay, now that's just a joke. Um, I picked this up mostly just because, you know, I think he got a bad, bad tarnished name because people floated his name during his rookie year, skyrocketed the prices, it disappointed. I know from what I've heard, I don't watch a whole lot of basketball, but, um, he's not doing bad out there. So I figured what the heck, I'll pick one up and in worst case scenario, it was cheap. I didn't have to pay $300 for his auto. And at the same time frame, I can always laugh about, you know, the Bull Bull stuff years down the road. This was one of the most interesting pieces I picked up today. Darius Baisley. Is there something wrong with this guy? I mean, please let me know in the chat. Maybe I'm just way off. The last sell, and the only sell I think I found in this card within the last three months was 99 cents. I figured this had to be like a $10 card or so. And I kind of like to pick up stuff like iMac, NT, and Flawless. It's cheap because the stuff's super expensive per box. I just couldn't figure it out. I was looking at some of his other stuff. I mean, it was selling, you know, $30, $40, $50 and stuff like that. I'm like, why did this sell for $0.99 cents less? Kind of crazy. So if you guys know something about Darius Baisley, I don't comment it. Kind of curious offhand. But I took it, it's low risk. All this stuff today was low risk in this first deal because, uh, you know, I just figured, hey, it's good to hold stuff and have stuff for next year. And what I spent on it, couldn't really complain. Briarmouth Phoenix out of 149 RPA. These sell around like 10 to 12 bucks, nothing crazy. I think eventually, I mean, Pittsburgh people will know, hey, this is the new Heath Miller. I'm not 100% convinced, but I think he's a dependable option for the quarterback in Pittsburgh. So, we picked it up. Always good to have Friar Moose stuff around here. Last up, this is not the 99. This is not the Brandon Cooks to 99. But, um, NT, uh, 25 Brandon Cooks. This is 2016 National Treasures. 40 to $50 card max. There were a couple that were up towards the $50 mark. So I figured, what the heck, I'll grab it. It's Brandon Cooks, NT, another expensive product nowadays. Um, and I could just use this as a, you know, piece of a case uh, stuff. Because what I like to do with my cases, what I've noticed is people are either going to buy stuff that's like $20 to about 120 to 130 And then there's like this gap that goes on from there to like the $300 level where I don't get a whole lot of interest. 
but occasionally unless it's somebody really, really hot. But anything, and once it starts going over 300, I have interest. So I try to pick stuff up that will fill in some of the gaps and stuff in the showcases for that. So the next one, uh, this card, first card is what I use to help make the deal make sense to me. Um, I I know what he was asking for the second card, which I'll show you here in a second. And with that being said, he's like, I he goes, where would you need to be at on it? And I said, I have no problem paying, you know, recent comps on to it. I just don't want to go over that. And it was only like $10 over. And I said, well, let me see if I can find something else that'll help make sense in a deal for me to where I have more wiggle room to work with. And I like doing that because they understand that I'm trying to give them what they want, but I need, you know, paying what stuff is selling for, which I have no problem with that. I mean, I understand, oh, well, you're not paying sales tax. Well, I got a license. I don't have to pay sales tax. It's a resale thing. I don't have to pay shipping. I got it. If you were to sell it on the internet, you know, which the guy doesn't, we'd have to pay fees. So it's 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 one of those double-edged sword things that always try to get argued out. But when you have guys that are actually have their licensing, sales tax don't matter at all anymore. You can't really use that in the ballpark picture. Um, but with this here, we just found something together that uh, made it make sense for both of us. Which I was happy for, and I'll explain why. So first up, this is out of 50 uh, Tributes, Shadow Box, Reggie Jackson. These sell for 90 bucks. Tell you that right now. 90 bucks. The card I wanted, and I'll explain why, Larry Bird Auto, Celtics Uniform. This is not a gradable card. Just Well, I could grade and get a 9, but I'm not going to grade and get a 9. Just because it has a little white. That's the thing that sucks with these backs, too. Uh, a lot of these cards have the color to it. But Larry Bird. I happen to watch, and I'll, I'll leave this flipped up so you guys have something to look at, not a blank screen as I talk. Um, Larry, Magic, in my head, and maybe this will make sense with what I'm going to say here. In my head, I don't picture them looking old. And it's probably because I still see them playing basketball in my head. I don't see them all the time in the spotlight commercials. Magic's so, a little bit more than anybody. Even Michael Jordan himself. And when you do get to see them, guys, they're getting old. I don't know how much more they're going to be around to start signing, you know, the old uh, stickers and everything else across the board when I think about it. Now, Michael don't really sign much anymore. I think this was the first time, other than the few, um, was it Goodwin Champions that he signs every year? I mean, first real thing was that medal. And I, I know his stuff was real, real, real rare in that one to get an auto. Well, you start looking at that stuff, you're like, man. You know, eventually, Larry Legendaire probably signs maybe a thousand cards a year. I'm just throwing a number out between everything. It's probably a lot less. Um, eventually he's not going to sign no more because he's no longer going to be, you know, alive. I know kind of gruesome with I saying it or dark or whatever, but I like to get stuff like this. And regardless if I get what the price that's going for, or, or people want to, you know, undercut constantly, I'll hold it. Cause eventually he's not going to be doing autographs no more and his stuff will be more scarce. Just my thoughts on to it, so I've been slowly, slowly picking up some Larry's, um, Magic's. I had my Michaels. Think this might be the year I pick up that last Michael Jordan auto. Yes, very last one I need to be. I have the number magical twenty three, but I just figured, hey, you know, it's always, always safe to have legends like this, Larry. Probably will always be top 10, somewhere in that top 10. Just do the championships and everything else with his uh, credentials, um, background, report card, whatever everybody's calling it nowadays out there. And when I see his stuff and it's reasonably priced, just like Magic Johnson stuff, I, I pick it up. Even um, in case y'all see some Julius Irving out there, Nolan Ryan, another one. I mean, he has plenty of autos out there, but if you really, really look at his documentary on Netflix, 
Nolan got old. I even picture him with the gray hair, but then I look at the documentary, I'm like, wow, Nolan really, really is old. I mean, you're talking about a guy, I think he was born, if I recall right, late 40s, somewhere in there. Pretty sure it was late 40s, because I know it was before my parents' birth in the 50s. I know they're early, early 50s. And I was like, wow, when you really think about this, this guy is actually pretty old out there. I better get this stuff now because eventually he's not going to be live. He's going to be a cut auto in a product. <laughs> you know, just think it out loud, just like I was doing with Hank Aaron and other people down the road. But I'm not telling everybody to go out and buy the stuff. I'm just giving you what goes on through my head when I see stuff like this. And it might just be because I'm getting older, getting closer to the big 5 every day. Um, not this year, guys, and not next year, but I'm getting clopped there. But um, just thinking about that stuff, you know, eventually these guys aren't going to be around anymore. We're going to have to depend on these young kids out there to fulfill, you know, this old man, getting old man, well, however you want to look at it, it's hobby, uh, hobby wants. So kind of different, kind of different. But that that's my reason behind the stuff of picking up more of your Hall of Famers that are out there. I mean, you start looking at Elway, Barino. Montana. I mean, I've seen them in their older years, but when you start looking at them, if you could find like a current picture today that doesn't have all the makeup on and stuff like that they wear for their interviews, just look at them. Guys, I don't know. You never know how long somebody's going to be around for and to get something that's still autographed by them and be part of a collector and not, what do you call it, a flipper or dealer, seller, however you, you label yourself out there. You know, it just all, to me, it all matters down the road. But all right, guys, that's it. Pretty cool. I don't know. I know I was rambling on about stuff there. But just sharing some thoughts in the video this time. Uh, no real big crazy trends again, because I was only there for about an hour, ten minutes. And I would, my main focus was to look for uh, places where I can get some deals onto some stuff. Or something like the Larry Bird Auto that would make the show worth it to me across the board. All right, guys, I am out. I will catch you all next video. Next weekend, whatnot, we're probably going to do basketball Friday night, hockey Sunday, hockey Sunday. We're going to give hockey a go. Got a ton of hockey stuff. I'll find stuff that we can start at a dollar where I can't get, you know, crushed. <laughs> you know, I guess is how they label it. I'm getting crushed on these live auctions. Um, stuff that really won't, you know, uh, matter much if it goes for a dollar or whatever across the board. It's just been here forever. But right, guys, I appreciate it. I will catch you all next video. Stay safe. Have a good day. I am out.